Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day where we are going on an adventure. That's right. I'm, go I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you where we're going when we get to the airport. And I'm just going to say this right now. Drunk Tom yesterday may have spoiled it. I, I shouldn't have said anything, but I accidentally did. But it's currently 9 a.m. right now. Stoked that I've been awake this early. Like, I've, I've been up for like the past two hours, which is great. My bags are packed upstairs. I've got everything I need, passport, phone, wallet, all that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite organized. I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna have a shower in a minute, just like freshen up, be ready for the journey. Uh, but at 9 a.m. and I'm about to go traveling, I'm currently recycling. Yep, just trying try, 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 try to get my life together, breaking all this down, putting it into paper bins and uh, being a good old citizen of the world. But as you guys know, on this journey that I'm going away on, I'm not going alone. I'm going with the one and only Blame Deck, the ginger himself and Jeff Lombardo who's traveled all the way from Bali Indonesia yeah that far all the way to New York to then meet us where we're going so it's gonna be a fun old journey however Deck is supposed to be getting off the train at 10 a.m. at my local town like my local train station Stockport but three trains have apparently been like stopped on the track like due to power failures or something like that which means Deck may end up getting in late which could potentially make him miss the flight and that's not a joke and that's not like dramatic black bars around like evil music like you won't believe what's happened to trains but we may actually still get to where we're going but just without deck so we'll tune in with a news report update on what's going on with that scenario because i was supposed to be meeting deck at the train station if he's not there i don't need to go to the train station i can just go straight to the airport and i think deck might have to try and get a later flight flying out of london rather than manchester right we're getting ready for today's adventure and we are going to be wearing the new vision long sleeve i don't know if we're actually calling it vision but i like it oh god damn it is the long sleeve with the print on the arm saying no boundaries and hey, 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 seems like you guys have never seen this before. If you're the first person to ever tune into this channel, ever coming from anywhere in the world, take a look at that back design. Oh my God, built to explore, made to adventure. <laughs> and that's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to support the channel, my family, the, the, the brand, this entire trip sponsored by Syndicate Original, get yourself a t-shirt, link down below, rep it, get out there, get in the world, and get adventuring. Oh, 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 it's comfy. Oh, it's so damn comfy. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. First time I've ever wore that, ever. Like, legit. Never, ever, ever have I put this on before. I didn't even know we actually had these coming in stock, but we do. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Ready to go on my adventure, of which um, I, might be, I'm, I might be going alone, because it is now five minutes to 10, and Dex just texted me saying his train doesn't get into Stockport train station till 11.20 and we fly at 11.55. Yeah, that's not looking too good, but hey, we always leave things till last minute. We tried to be organized by packing our stuff last night and all that sort of shit, but uh, hey, you just go with the flow. You make the most of the opportunity and if it all goes tits up, you just, you just, you just work with it, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to head to the airport. We're going to still jump on that flight and then Deck may or may not make it. Positive vibes, he will. Uh, I'll check him in online so he can just go straight through security when he gets there. We're not checking bags because that's my number one rule of traveling. Don't check bags. You risk losing them and it takes way too much time and stuff like that. If you turn up at the airport and you're like, I were to check in, they're like, sorry, you missed it. And then if you say the line of like, I'm checking no bags, they're like, hmm, you had my attention. Now you have my curiosity. Pretty sure that saying's the other way around, but that's what I mean. If you say you haven't got bags, the chances are the people at the desk are more likely to be like, I got you. So, tracker. <laughs> if you're wondering why I've got a tracker, it's just so like, in case I like lose my phone or something, I can double tap it and hear a beep or I can find it. Basically, I can find myself if I get lost. Passport, wallet, GoPro mount, GoPro mount. That's all I need. Obviously not forgetting all the stuff I've got upstairs as well, but... Um, Yep, I reckon in the next 10 minutes, I need to be uh, on my way to the airport. So it's rock and roll. Yeah, about now's a good time to leave. So my bag is packed. I'm actually taking the suitcase this time rather than that because I needed to fit a load more in it. And I guarantee they're going to charge me for it because uh, I think it's it, it's hand luggage, but it's just a bit bulky. All right, I, th I think phone, wallet, passport, keys, everything else I can get out of the way. I think I've got everything. And I even, I brought my drone. Well, I have my drone, but the last time I flew it, 
I crashed it and the propellers broke. Now I do have a spare set, but there's only two inside this. So I'm hoping that if I go to Dixon's at the airport, I might be able to get some spare ones. And I'm sure in Iceland, there'll be a shop somewhere where I can buy some extra blades, but I'm hoping the actual drone is okay from when I last crashed it, because I can see it open at the back there, like cracked open a bit, and it's got a dink on its front, like front left side. So I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, I'm bringing it along for no necessary reason in the slightest, but uh, I've got three batteries. None of them are charged. I just completely forgot about it. Like literally, I walked out the door and Deck just said to me like, Tommy, you bring in your drone because we could get some sick shots. And I was like, I completely forgot I had one. So lo and behold, we'll take it. I've got an in-car charger for the batteries. And if we get the propellers, we'll get it flying around. And the more and more I look at this bag, I'm just, I'm knowing, I'm absolutely knowing these guys are gonna make me check it, which I really don't wanna do. But if, the, if it's the only way I'm gonna be able to get my bag there, then I'm just gonna have to do it. Cause that is a giant, gigantic looking handheld luggage like that is actually a handheld bag but it is crammed to the absolute brim i could take my hoodie out of it or my coat and wear that instead which i might do i might take my big coat out put this little one in and be sorted but that thing looks like it's about to explode all right all right all right terminal one drop off here we are sadly i don't get to say terminal three we meet again but just glad to be here organized on time because if they do give me any trouble about my bag I'll be able to just deal with it hmm. look at me at the airport an hour and 50 minutes early this is just so not like me to be organized and on time so let's get through and chill out all right made it through security all sweet and sound and I'll just need a mini shampoo and a mini body wash and I've got everything for the journey well that and propellers no, look how cute it is. I love it. Little soap, little shampoo. E -e 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 -e. Nice. Are you ready for the clutch plays? I got on discount, super cheap, a Mophie charging station that has 55 plus hours of battery, which is mental. 15,000 mi like, milliamps, which is crazy. And then for the superpower play, I picked up one of these. So then when we're in the RV, I can actually charge my. And I've just remembered we're gonna be going getting in like loads of lagoons and stuff. So I need some swim shorts. I completely forgot. I just need to give a shout out to uh, this guy right here. Boom, picture of the guy off my Twitter. I bumped into him in JD. Turns out he bumped into Carl when Carl just went to Dubai recently. And lo and behold, he just gave me his discount uh, on some swim shorts that I picked up. So mate, thank you very much for that. Oh, brand new, fresh blueprint hoodie straight out the bag. Look at that, looking amazing. Life's too short, make the most of it. Oh, the details, the absolute details, amazing. Right, took the hoodie out of my actual bag. That way, it makes the suitcase way, way, way easier to close. I might not look it, but it does. That way I'm hoping that the security at the gate don't say anything about my bag. I'm seeing up on this side, it's saying go to gate, it's currently, 12.10 and my flight is at 12.55 which means the gate probably closes at like 12.35 so Dex got 20 minutes to get here get through security and make the flight he's f***ing <laughs> made it <laughs> oh my god Jesus. you may not recognise this guy to be the same person I'm a man now. this is Deck. <laughs> this is actually Deck. Oh, bro, I'm too setting. Bro, I was about to start feeling dead bad that I'm going to have to get on this plane oh. on my own. I'm about to go to the desk with a sandwich, stall them, try and sweet talk <laughs> the people at the desk to hold it on to the very last minute. Are you Make ready for an sweat. adventure? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. How many, how, many, how many hours worth of delays at, at the train? Hour and 45. Just what you want. The but we're here. So I don't care, where's the beer? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. The entire way he was on the journey here, I genuinely thought you were going to miss it. Yeah. And I genuinely thought it was impossible. But I kept saying, positive thoughts, yeah. you can do it. I can feel it. Take the taxi driver, get through yeah. security as fast as you can, take electronics out your bag, everything. I've done it. Should we tell them where we're going now? Uh, I kind of, we've slipped up definitely a million times, but. Well, you look kind of warm. <laughs> Mate, I'm cozy. Have you not. 
I've got a jacket. We'll, we'll be fine. I just hope you let us on the plane with these bags. Hey, I'm loving that you, you you're falling apart, you're sweating, and you've got a little tiny coffee. Mate, you are not the same deck that I last saw. You're, you've actually grown up to be like a man, it's crazy. Yeah. It will have been about eight or seven and a half years ago when you were sat behind me on a plane, being a little fanboy, taking photos of me from behind, to say seven and a half years later, we're going on a road trip around Iceland together. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on a plane together now. From, from, from you being sat behind me on a plane. Works, kids. No, it does not. <laughs> I don't come down. I'm joking. I do not. I do not. Do not do what you do. This is a one in a million. You couldn't make it up, though, could you? No, man. You really couldn't. Like his mum. His mum with him and his mates were sat behind me, and then when he went to the toilet, I had a spare syndicate shirt, and I gave his mum the shirt, saying, "Give him that as a surprise." And at the end, we took a photo together and everything like that, and we just stayed in touch. Bye! Iceland. Iceland! Here we come. We actually have an RV. Thank God, man. All right. Can you, can you pronounce it? Reykjavik. Oh, wow. You, you, actually, you actually look like you're Iceland. You look like a Viking. You actually look like a Viking. Right, man. I look very far from it, but Reykjavik. Here we come. One small step for man, one giant leap for Tom Deck and Jeff's adventure. <laughs> Oh, Wi-Fi on board. Go on, Iceland. We've absolutely looked out air deck. Mate, the airplane's gorgeous. Direct flight. Not even just, what, 200 quid the flight? Dirt cheap for a three-hour flight. We're going to see this. And look at the leg, leg room. <laughs> you would not have fit in a normal seat, would you? No. <laughs> Mate, look, look at the size of this. What have you been doing? Just eating, or is this normal? Eat your greens, kids. <laughs> three hours time, we will be Iceland. And we've decided we're gonna get really drunk on the plane and then make Jeff drive. Sorry, Jeff. Man. Sorry. <laughs> we're at about 30, uh, no, I'd say 20,000 feet right now. We're gonna land and we have absolutely no plans. So, to, so we're using it. Hey, where's the sick bag? <laughs> we're using this leaflet. Very <laughs> good sick bag. And a sick bag with a map to work out what to do and where to go. We're idiots. I like being an idiot. So I, oh. I honestly cannot wait for this trip. It's gonna be beautiful. Really? The real reason I'm coming down <laughs> is go to the Dick Museum. All right then. <laughs> if you uh, oh. go for a shit outside the camper van and we drive off without you, you now know why. <laughs> Just saying. We learnt our first Icelandic word off the lovely air hostess. Scowl. 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 It means cheers. I was going to say, watch it not even be Icelandic here. Where's it from? I have no idea. We've now only got 25 minutes until we're there. I just fell asleep for an hour. I was absolutely exhausted, like did not sleep much last night. For 25 minutes and we're there. That's nice our dude. first ever glimpse oh, go. of Iceland. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iceland. Hello, Iceland! Woo! We made it! We made it! We actually did it! <laughs> Wait, I'm sure I'm sure he said he was here. He said it right. Right next to Joe and Juice or something. He sat, and where are we going to find him? Where's Jeff? My friend Jeff, where are you, Jeff? Where are Jeff? Okay, so we've had not bad news, but I've had a load of missed calls on my phone. Um, and Jeff's been here for six to nine hours or something. And he wasn't able uh, three hours ago to go and collect uh, the RV, unfortunately, because I'm the name driver on it and I'm the one who's paying. So they wouldn't let Jeff go and collect it. So we're gonna try and get through um, security now, go and meet up with him and... Ooh, Danishness. <laughs> Damn, you said the Nala. It's so hard to try and pronounce all these words. Like, how do you, how do you even try that? We are the land yeah, of yeah. the Norse gods. Oh, we are, oh here, the land of the Norse gods. There's the Norse gods. Now. Yeah. Wait, so Thor? Yeah. Uh, Zeus, and they, Sorry, they Zeus. invented cod liver oil here. Good, cod liver oil, I love the sound of it. We're gonna go meet up with uh, Jeff now once we get through security and uh, head to the RV place, which is only seven minutes away. Sort out all these guys being named drivers and stuff like that, and we should be okay. 
he says. If that's Icelandic food, it is Icelandic lamb. Bro, I want that in my belly. That's just lovely, look. It's, it's people naked in the water saying welcome. And look, she's getting rained on in the Blue Lagoon. Lovely. Where's our boy? Where's our New Yorker? Where's Jim? Where's Jim? I want Jim. Okay, we, we've still not found Jeff, but we found the exit to Iceland. <laughs> I'm stoked. Why is there a supermarket? Why, why is there a supermarket in the airport? What the f***? Mate, part of me wants to go wandering through that to see what there is to offer, but we need to find Jeev. We can you find Jeev? A hundred pounds just came out as 15,000 Icelandic Corona, and it came out in two notes. They've got a 10,000 Corona bill. That's nutty. I lost it. it no. <laughs> we for a second thought we were in the wrong airport or something like that. Yes. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Good to see you. How many hours have you been here? 40? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this random squad. We got a New Yorker. We got a random ginger. Is this where you how, how many hours have you been in this airport? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Dude, no way. And you got specky four eyes over here as well. Dope! Wait, has this legit been your home this entire time? <laughs> Let's, well, it's not a bad spot. He's had food, like sandwich, like drinks and stuff like that, and good music. I like it, Joe and the Juice. Da -da 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 -da. Deck, breathe it in. Breathe it in. <laughs> we've, we've made it to the land of the grape. Wait, where are you going? We need a photo. I always say, who drives Volvos? And now I know, it's the Icelandic. Oh. It's starting to rain. Good job about that coat, just saying. <laughs> Have you got any more talents I should know about? <laughs> no, that's go, it. go on, hit, hit us with some Swedish. <laughs> what does that mean? How are you? Oh. <laughs> you got the best driver <laughs> ever. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> Alright, we're on the way to the RV place now and hopefully we can pick that up, go into the city. Deck only has two pair of boxers on a seven on a seven day trip. <laughs> Jeff doesn't even know what he's doing. He's brought his entire life. I need I still need a jacket though. You didn't bring one? I mean this is all I got. He came fresh from New York, ready for the Icelandic yeah, weather. I came from Bali, bro. I have shorts with me. I came from Bali. <laughs> oh, oh, what a hard life. Sure what a hard no, life. Come on. Come for Iceland. Perfecto. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one. Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, we found it. No way. You might, you might need to buy a raincoat, but that's probably not the raincoat for you to buy. The mosquito nit here. <laughs> oh, there's a map of the, of the. Oh, that's not even the whole place. Oh god damn. How big is this place? Jeez. By the way, yeah, guys. If, the, if, if there's a civil riot here, the our insurance isn't yes. covered. And then is the best one. Are you ready? Due to damage, we don't cover it if damage due to your nuclear power, radiation, or radioactive materials. And you cannot drive in gravel roads with this car. That's fine. Whoa. So that is a map of that. Like, so where, do you, where did you do last we're, time? We're here. We're yeah. Do this whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Just a little bit then. So this is actually ours. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Dope. Whoa. <laughs> what? You've just blown my mind. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. I've not seen that in a camper van before. What? The, my dad's gonna love it. Wow. Okay. Cool. So, uh, the oh. Is on. Okay. We've got bathroom, toilet here. We've got one bed, two bed. This is nice, cozy. I like it. Shower in here. I like it. I'm being like ultimate dad mode right now, making sure like nothing's broken or anything like that and things work and how to do it. Um, I checked the camping equipment. If we would have turned up in this camping equipment, it's ripped off the back and wouldn't work. So I'm gonna get that changed out. Table, three chairs, power cord, thingy for the front. If we get a flat tire, we're probably screwed and we just have to ring the service guys. Uh, I've done my look around the outside of like scuffs on the side, little marks here. Scuffs along here, nothing seems too damaged. Like, don't see anything smashed underneath or any lights out or anything. Like, that. don't get me wrong, I've not turned it on yet, so I wouldn't know if there's a brake light out or anything. Water tank, power, sweet, diesel in here. Crazy fact about this 
handbrake's actually there rather than on that side, so that's a little bit weird. We did actually think we were getting an automatic, which would have been a million times easier because Jeff only knows how to drive an automatic, but he's going to learn how to drive a manual, just saying. It's not that difficult. Don't really see much damage here. I'm just filming it just in case we need to complain about something in the future. Like, the wind mirrors are okay. They know about the scuffs. This is all cool, yo. Nothing smashed. Little bits of marks here. Chip, chip, chip. Don't really see any others or anything like that. So that should be good. This wind mirror is A-OK. -okay. And all right. I think we're uh, good to rock and roll. They're just sorting out the fridge. Interesting. OK, speed limits. Yep, yep. Traffic signs. Cool. Gravel roads. Yep. But headlights. While driving in Iceland, headlights, headlights are required to be on at all times, all year round. OK, single lane bridge. Pavement changes to gravel. Unbridged river. Oh, God. Impassible, impassible, <laughs> closed. I like it. Possibility of animals on the road. Look how badass that animal looks. Yo, Iceland, I fudge with you, man. Oh, we got a fire extinguisher down there. Okay, it's good. good. Dude, what? Dude, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this so far. No, it's, it's, it, yo, it's really, it's really fun. Nice. Whoa, there's storage everywhere, man. Holy crap. We're pre-driving anywhere. Are we happy with our new home? She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Explosion. Sorry, Ryan. But she's a beauty. Them two are back there. I've taken the bed that goes up and down. Probably end up regretting that in the future because it'll just be a pain in the ass to move it every morning. But we'll do that. We're going to try and be getting up for like 7 a.m. every day because then we get the most of the daylight. And we're set. And we drive on the right side of the road here. Just got to make sure I remember that. Oof. Deck just said, let's find out what Icelandic radio is like. Okay, sauce. Oh my God, they got the beats, man. They got the beats. <laughs> Iceland's got the <laughs> beats. Deck, I'm just saying as a passenger, I can't see out the window if you do that to me, broski. Look how sick this oh, vehicle is. Down. Look at this. Dude, this is, a, this is our baby, look. You, you, you fan it out and look at that i think you just like push it up and tuck it in or something but that is dope mate this this camper's got all the tricks my dad would be loving this right now go on ken lad we've not yet made it out the parking lot because me and deck <laughs> we've been defeated by this how do you open that is it really that simple i our head's gonna fall off if you do this dead easy that's it we didn't want to break it that's it. Wow. Ten. Oh. Okay. Whoa! You're a wizard. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. I think it's for like you're putting your maps on and stuff. Whoa! What Whoa. the? <laughs> what is this thing? This is a taste of what the flatlands is gonna be like. Oh wow. my god. Oh my. Look at me. Look at me go, mom. Look at me go, dad. I'm oh, that was definitely the wrong gate. <laughs> right, here we go. We're cruising, doing 90, 90 kilometers per hour down the road in Reykjavik. I'm hoping I'm in the slow lane. If I'm not, I apologize to everyone behind me. Carry on this road for 32 kilometers. Actually insane. We just on this big one road for like 28 kilometers into the middle of nowhere. And I love it. Ghost town. Whoa! Oh, tune! Tune! We're in Iceland. They've got Taco Bell. What the? Jeff! <laughs> KFC don't care. They have Taco Bell out here. What is that? Looks like an arrow. I don't know. I don't get it, but I love it. Oh, did you open that window on the side? Yeah. Oh, no wonder I thought I felt a draft. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the window flying open. Right, De Dex currently Google translating a, st and a road sign to try and see if we're allowed to park here. Uh, this guy's on. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Can I say? No. <laughs> no. All right, this guy. This guy's taking care of personal business, which doesn't sound right. And dad, this is, we've just drove around an entire city looking for parking. Now I think I'm gonna have to put it in there and stick the back end out. Cause right now we're against this. Taking up two spaces. Like we, we're taking up two. Actually, you know what? 
the camera on the back makes it look like that that was so much closer than it was so i'm going to move it back a little bit that way i'm i'm only taking up still two spaces or anything like that but i need to go and read the sign and make sure that we can actually park here and we're not going to get a fine or something because we're in a camper van you know this is not going to be absolutely the most difficult thing ever seeing as though it's in a different pissing language i don't even know how we're going to do it can i do like mobile oh contactless okay okay let's get started okay let's go power on oh my oh english is it touchscreen no wait is this language change oh god no bollocks no back me oh, okay this is confusing what have i done my guy have you ever seen a british guy doing a 98 point parking parallel turn no, I haven't. you're about to see it we've decided that this we have decided that this is a russian embassy parking lot is it i don't think deck I'm translated it right that i would recommend tell me my dad wouldn't be proud of me look at that that's a good parking bro i nailed it that didn't even take me any time at all, all right back ends it's because the road's bent but i can stick that back end in a bit it don't look it from this side oh god nearly killed by a cyclist all right I can put that back end in a little bit because it's sticking out a wee, a wee wiggle, but I'm happy with that. Well, that worked out absolutely amazingly. We got a ticket, we parked up there and there's a taxi right here, literally waiting where we were just about to park. Thank you. I look, we're going to a camera shop to get some blades for the, uh, the drone. And then after that, and this guy being confused as hell as to why I'm talking to myself, <laughs> uh, we're gonna uh, get some clothes, some food and then hit the road. One, one oh, taxi. Oh! oh my God, all right then. Dude, taxis are expensive. Crazy, 20 pounds, two minutes. Yeah, we, we literally drove around the corner and it just cost us 20 quid. It would have been a 45 minute walk and we need to go to this store today, so we had to kind of do it. But welcome to Reykjavik Photo, literally. This place has everything. It even has these, but these are for the Maverick 2, not the Maverick 1, sad face. Dude, Iceland is just absolutely like gorgeous look at this place this is just insane oh it looks it just looks fake look at that look at that oh my god holy shit. wow oh so we got a taxi app downloaded to water taxis like uber but it's just a pickup thing rather than you pay for it um jeff picked himself up a tripod but we need propeller blades for my drone which uh, it's my fault for not having but for, like we knew of, the, of a spot where we could get it but this place where we just came from we drove past a dji store which has the propellers because the, the gentleman who works here rang them and he was like yep i've got the maverick one propellers that you need which is perfect but they close at six and it's currently 5 47 and it takes us five minutes to get over there by a taxi but we don't know how long it's going to take to get this taxi here so do -do 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 -do. What an absolutely beautiful view and all we're doing is driving along a coastline like it's just a coastline in a beautiful little bloody coast it's, look at that lot of house wow can't build that on minecraft can i <laughs> <laughs> whoa 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 don't you dare say salt shaker 2.0 oh, no way oh wait are we gonna drive past that viking ship yeah we are oh i'll get to get on camera nice dude there it is at first i thought it was a load of forks but it turns out it's like some crazy looking like Viking ship, look at that. Wow. He's playing the countdown music because uh, at 6.01, the person's gonna close the store so we can't buy the new propellers. And it's currently uh, like, we're four, min we're four minutes away and we're gonna get there at one minute past, so. <laughs> Stop it, I hate you. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. <laughs> There's no way. If you would have told me, I would have held it. Dude, I, I am in a hurry. Help you. Are you serious? Yeah, come in. Right. As if you f know. Of course. Thank you so much, my bro. Worries. Oh my god, I'm dying. You can't believe it. I got there as he was locking the door. The first thing you said when I opened the door, Syndicate, what are you doing here? <laughs> Didn't you? You can make it up. Oh. I'm exhausted. Every vlog is on my phone. This guy, DJI, give this man a raise. Holy crap. Man, I, I run pretty fast then, didn't I? I thought I was going to fall over. I got to the door as he was locking it. My guy, Yumi, kicking the other people out of the store and got here past six o'clock. But I got here at the minute of six. <laughs> <laughs> 
right. You are literally the man. I feel, I'm so any way out of anywhere in the world we could have gone, any okay. store we could have turned up to, Gumi's an absolute champion. <laughs> I'm so stoked right now. This really became worthwhile for him to keep the shop open because <laughs> I, got, I got my four blades, which I need, and then you two both bought drones you each. Oh, what do you mean you won't leave the door open one more minute? I'm closing it. Not a minute. I'm closing it. Not even a minute after six. And then our taxi guy here hit every light. Oh, we hit every light on the way. We were like, we were looking at the clock, weren't we? Like, this is not possible. This is not possible. Yes. Bro, check this out. That, that I think is Diamond Beach, which is crazy where we want to go to. And everything here is filmed in Iceland. Look at it. Look at it. I'm sorry about the flickering. There's not really much I can do about it. Look how beautiful this place is. That glacier is melding. So I asked how the uh, Icelandic police are sort of thing, and apparently they're just mega chillers. Here's a photo with a horse. <laughs> Pulled some kid over for going too fast with Mickey Mouse. Eating an ice cream. Oh, mate, I want to meet the police force. Oh, we should so get in touch with the tourism guide. That tourism? Yeah, tourism board. That'd be sick. Let's hope we don't bump into this guy. No thanks. I mean, we just bought two yeah, drones and tried yeah, to we, we've, ju we've just done this absolute party style. Oh, Seriously, I love it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go get some lamb. Hey, thank you so much, man. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate so, it. Thank you. You probably just saved yeah. the trip. Like, from a, from yeah, a respectful yeah, point. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hey, he's like, come again. <laughs> come buy two drones again, whenever you want. But seriously, thanks, man. Which way are we going now for food? That way? Sweet. Oh, hey, hey, hey. This guy, he's got, he's got a brand new tripod. He's got a brand new drone. He's complaining he hasn't got a coat. And he's like, guy, Canada Goose, I got a shop in here. We walk in the streets of Reykjavik right now. And there's a, a Viking a Viking bar. That's pretty, pretty goddamn cool. But we, 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 we scrolling. And we're heading to a place that has the best lamb in all of Iceland apparently. So let's check it out. It feels kind of nice to be like doing this, like the city side of it, just cause it's like, we're gonna see it and then we're gone. Like after today, we're gonna be going like off into the boondock. So we're gonna see how that goes. But man, this, this strip smells so damn good. Whoa, what are, you are we gonna get stabbed? <laughs> what are you taking? Is this where we're going? Oh, hell yeah. Is it open? It's not even warm. It's fake fire. Oh, hell yeah. This? Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers, they let me in first or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lovely. thanks, you're so polite. <laughs> All right, best lamb in Iceland, bring it on. Ooh. So we could go, we, we could... Down, my okay. <laughs> We're trying to equate all the math of all the food and everything by Jeff's tripod. <laughs> I could buy six coats for that tripod. <laughs> so I don't know if it's to get like a, like a, a tasting menu to try a load of different kind of food. Or go with what we were talking. You can get reindeer. Oh, grilled whale steak, grilled puffin, <gasps> grilled king cat crab. Oh my! Yeah, yeah. Can, can, oh can, my god! Can I have a Viking beer, please? Yes. Oh, make that too. <laughs> One more page over. Yep, rib ribeye of beef and then a horse tenderloin. Okay then, lads. Let's put it here. We're in we're in Iceland with our Viking beers. Skull or whatever it is. <laughs> man, I can't wait for this journey, man. I just can't wait. Like, I can't believe we're doing it. So last minute, but so perfect. I love how we're sharing uh, like a, a sample platter thing. Oh, we got the ad choke. Oh, go, go, go. Mm. That is, what is that, salmon? Or ad choke. Hey, how good is that? Oh, Holy sh that's oh. good. I thought it looked like salmon. That's unreal. I take it back. It's not artichoke, it's arctic char. Yeah, it's <laughs> there was an artichoke, I was like, what the f? I was like, it doesn't, look, it doesn't look like a vegetable. <laughs> oh my god, how good is that? That's like 10 out of 10 good. Wow. Declan, what we got? What we got? What we got? I'm using a lovely bundle of wild hand caught duck with pomegranate. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, whoosh. Whoosh. I like how it just looks not presentable in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, the low level lighting on this phone on the front facing is a potato, but Ooh, I'm gonna taste test this duck and leaves. It's like orangey. Oh my God. <laughs> that is good. Wait, I think I can taste cilantro. <laughs> you know, yeah. 
Oh, that's cilantro. The dip's really good. Hey, stop taking the piss, all right? I thought that was really good, so I said compliments to the chef. But we've got lava, lava salt, and what was that? Green, green, green. <laughs> I don't know. Green good. salt. <laughs> all right, let's try it. Bro, I'm about to literally eat lava. I can't wait. Dude, that is as black as the night. See, that was the soap I was showing Mm. But, I mean, you tell me about the volcano soap, glacier soap. I'll put I'll put volcano in anything, man. I want to. I'm gonna fly to Hawaii and poke lava with a stick. Just watch. Dude, that is so good. <laughs> That's the best volcanic salt I've ever had in my life. Dude, try that. No, it's best for taking. Holy crap. That, how good is that? <laughs> Wait, is that volcano? Which one? This one, right? <laughs> Bro, go over there. <laughs> <laughs> the flames coming out. Hey, guy. <laughs> Bro, the, wait, what? <laughs> Why this gonna come? We're not doing mushrooms. <laughs> try, the, try the salt, try the salt. They're pretty good, right? <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> so so Jeff's got like a meat platter that he's gonna have to himself, which looks amazing, but I'm still in a mushroom. And we got puffin. That is incredible. It's tiny. I know it was a little bird, but damn that is small. I'm going straight. I'm, I'm going. Oh, do you wanna take a photo or anything? Go, go. Yeah, I'm going Please. for it. Alright, oh, yeah, no, no. You get the shot? No, I got it. Yeah. Alright, you ready for a taste test There's review? Of, taste test review of puffin. The cute little bird. Alright, put a picture of a puffin. Boom. Yeah, a puffin. I it's like duck. duck. <laughs> Yo, it's like duck. It's like duck. Chewy? Very good. You know what I Very grisly. It goes up to me. God damn. It's very smoky. It's quite nice. And this is shark. Yes. What? Lime on the side and soy dressing. Oh my god. Hell yeah. I'm going for it. I'm going for it straight away. Dude, it smells. As LA is. And I would much rather come here than LA. Oh my god. <laughs> How good is that? Oh, this my How good is that? What? <laughs> Do you know what I'd describe it tasting like? And this is gonna sound weird. Like tuna. Mm. Would you? Super soft. Shark is like known to be quite firm, but that is delicate. Super soft. I, I have no idea what it's supposed to be like, but that is gorgeous. So there was a mistake, and we we ate the shark, but the shark instead was supposed to be whale. So to make up for it, the girl was like, "I'm so sorry. I know you wanted to try whale. Here's whale." Crazy. Mate, the Icelandics are crazy. Whale. What the hell? It smells amazing. It's got like this wood burning underneath it. It's oh, my God. Unethical, oh my God. Once in a lifetime. It's what they it's what normal to them, isn't it though? Like this is like the local source of food. Do you know that? The guy looks like a Viking for God's sake. Alright, we're gonna go for it. Jeff, take a piece. Let's let's taste let's test. Whale together. <laughs> let's have a whale of a time. You gotta use the sauce though. It's mad. It's like a whale. It's what I'd imagine biting into a whale tasting like. That is absolutely lovely. That is gorgeous. Oh my god. Do you hear what I said then? The way I describe it, you know, like in, when you watch like a Blue Planet video and you see a shark eating a dead whale, like just munching on it, and you see like the blubber, I'd imagine that to. Is what, what whale, whale tastes like blubber. That's what you feel like? Flavorful I feel like a shark eating on a whale's carcass right now. But I tell you something, it's a, it's a gorgeous carcass. To say that that's a local Thanks. dish. I might, I might even. Amazing. Amazing. So this is langoustine tempura. Langoustine tempura. It's really tasty. Oh hell yeah. Get another bit. Oh my <laughs> god. That is like delicate. Is that like a mayonnaise? Like a spicy like mayo. By the way. This has been one of the best meals I've had so far in my life. Probably. Not even joking. That's crazy. That's my piece so I can touch it. Dude. 
Like you just said, it's like Wagyu, isn't it? Like wa wa Wagyu beef. Whoa. Yeah, Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Mate, Jeff just <laughs> Jeff just ate an entire meal and didn't realize he had a horse. I thought I ate beef lamb and beef. It was beef lamb and horse. Yeah. And she tells me it's as I'm chewing. Sure. Like you couldn't wait till I was done. Like, I didn't know everything was at all. It just sounds like this tastes different. Because I want a meat gourmet. Oh my god! It's like she said, well, oh mate, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm absolutely dying. We have it. says meat gourmet. We need to come here. Yes! <laughs> every every course that comes out, we've got to get the photo. Wild. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. Smell it. Oh my god. Oh, this is, yeah, this is normal food to them. All right, I'm going wow. for it. Time to try the, try the, oh, the salt, salted what? Salted cod? Fish? Yeah, it's cod with like langoustine or something. Ooh, it's sweet. Is it? Oh, I would not have expected that. I expected something really salty. Oh, the top salty, but the bo- <laughs> That's apple on top of pear, mm. isn't it? About... Oh my God. Wow. Do you know what? This might be one of the best tasting menus I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Seriously, if you're ever in Iceland, I'll take a photo of the sign when we go outside so you can like check it out. This, this has been absolutely incredible. Come on. We the duck. Oh, this is the duck? Amazing. What's the name of the This one. The first one. Oh, the first one. Yes. Cool, thank you. Dude, smell that. Oh, wow. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mushrooms. Mushrooms and chicken bone marrow glaze. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, my lordy. That looks good. Bon appetit. Oh. Oh, wow, that chicken, that chicken flavor. Wow, rich, very rich, but nice. So is this last but not least? Oh yeah. Lamb. We've eaten whale, shark, puffin, duck, and horse, and now we're finishing it with lamb. Lovely. Pulled pork. Is it pulled pork or is it pulled duck? Duck. Pork. Oh, that's duck oh. pulled pork, yeah. That is absolutely incredible, and the lamb is just delicious. This restaurant has been 10 out of 10 for me, just saying. Oh so my god. I can't eat all this. It's got cold pool pops in it. <laughs> oh yeah, do it. Uh, let's go for it. Make it melt. Make it melt. They, I know a particular person in the world who would love this right now. Oh my lord. Mate. This bathroom is gorgeous. This is incredible. I love that sink. I think it's a shared sink to next door. That is, wow, that is real stone. Holy crap, that's nice. I'm just saying the food here has been absolutely incredible. Honestly, 10 out of 10. So good. Like honestly, the staff, the food, the restaurant itself, just so beautiful. Like, oh, sorry, my bad. Incredible. But well, it's time to uh, to get going. Uh, we've been here for like two hours. <laughs> Dex out here getting the shot on the uh, on the good old film camera. We'll, we'll get one more. Get These up. guys were absolutely incredible. This guy was so impressive. Like honestly, so so impressive. Oh, he's posing. He posing. He posing. God damn. <laughs> Restaurant out of ten. Eleven. What was it called? Um, Grill Market. Grill Market. Good out guy. of ten. I mean, for Iceland, I'm gonna say a ten. Bro, honestly, absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10. Highly, highly recommend. But now uh, we're on the journey to find the car. I've got to say, it, oh, it's still there. <laughs> the camper van's still there. It's still really early, um, like in the day. So there's still stuff we're going to film, but we're going to be driving for two hours. But I've managed to get Orion over 140 clips 
sent over whilst we were eating dinner. 60 upload in Iceland, bro. Crazy. 60 upload on the mobile phone. Like we just eat 60 That's... animals. <laughs> we had 60 animals and we had 60 upload. It's perfect. So let's hope we haven't got a clamp on the car. And let's uh, head to our first destination where we're going to stay overnight. Hopefully find a campsite. And if we can find a campsite, we'll be booming because then we can charge all our for tomorrow to go off an adventure and, and fly drones and stuff. For the first time of four days. And then, oh yeah, this guy's not had a shower in four days. Yeah. Why? Well, you why? So they're making me look like a dope. <laughs> now you're good. All right, moment of truth. Have we been clamped or do we have a ticket? All right. Oh dear. Who left the lights on? Battery dead? Uh... Um, no, no, we should, it's got it's got a separate battery. How the hell is that light on? That's what? Alright, don't worry. Me won't. There we go. Alright, nice. I've uh, been doing the first stint of the drive. Done about an hour and twenty minutes worth of driving. Um, it's been good. She's a she, the wagon's a beast, isn't she? Great. Right, she's bloody beautiful. But we've, uh, we've not found any petrol stations or anything to get like milk, cereal and water from. Um, so we found, we found someone on the way, but it looks like more like a campground. Um, but it's still guy, tell oh. my mum I love her. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, no way, you're done for mate. Be gone, <laughs> be gone cretin. But um, yeah, we're just gonna try and see if like, we can actually get in there. And if we can just get like some bottles of water, even if we just get water, that'd be perfect. He's in. Uh, I don't know. No. All right, all right, whatever you do, Deck, don't die. But I'm seeing that unit there. And that unit there makes me think that it might have drinks in that we can potentially maybe buy. Sorry, there's a hot jacuzzi. No, there's not. There's no swimming pool. Uh, there's a swimming pool and a hot jacuzzi. Wait, I'm coming lucky, f*** it. There's <laughs> a washing machine for you. Mate, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, it's warm. <laughs> Imagine we go skinny dipping, not skinny dipping. I don't know why I went skinny dipping straight away. I have swim shorts. Um, is that what? Wow, that's it, hot. Is it 38 to 40 degrees? Dude, this is what I wanted my Iceland, Icelandic adventure to be like. But we need some. Wait, so we've have we just made it to like a public, like a public? That's cold. I always check before entering. Is it 24 7 then? Like, mate, there can't be much going on here because this isn't even, there's nothing even in it. We're trying to work out what the hell's going on with this and uh, <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey's being Sleeping Beauty back here. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise if they attach that there, they can have a big bed and can spoon. I am not surprised Jeff's tired. He's, uh, he's travelled like 40 plus hours around like the full journey to get from Indonesia to here, so respect. Um, that definitely says bar and that definitely says open. Oh, here you go. Oh, winter opening hours, uh, Uthlid cottages. Okay, right, yeah, we've, we've completely missed everything. But we just want some water. <laughs> I know it says ring to check in after nine o'clock sort of thing, but we're not intending on staying here. Um, I could if I wanted to, but there's another car rolling up as well now, so I'll try and keep my see my eyes on them and see what they end up with instead. See, another camper. Don't know. I think everyone's being redirected to here, thinking it's a 24-hour uh, petrol station, which it looks like it is on Google Maps. What in person? Not quite. All right, so we just uh, randomly found a bar that we went into, met two really nice Mancunians, and we paid how much for three bottles of beer? Um, more than like, half a day's work. I, th I think I think thirty quid. I think we just paid thirty. <laughs> oh mate, it's it's ridiculous. We just paid thirty quid for three beers. Everyone says it's expensive, and we know it is, but the problem is we couldn't find an off license when we get to where we're going on the first night i want to be able to get pull up get comfy have a beer and go to bed oh yes so it's the price we unfortunately pay i was going to say whether or not it would have been worth asking them if we could have pulled up in that campsite but i think i don't know if you have to pay or anything like that so kind of is where it is but right we're taking our beers and we're going shout out to the mancuni lady was she called chloe yeah, I think chloe so. at the geyser bar uh she's from manchester like we said 
But we just said like, you know that camp's out there, if you do want to camp there, how much do we have to pay? And she said, what, 1,000, like 1,100 a person, yeah, which yeah. is cheaper than the beer, so a tenner a person, so it's 30 quid for us. But um, she went, but we're going now, so we didn't see you. <laughs> so if we need a place to crash tonight, we've got a free place to stay, so. Yeah. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> I mean, thank, thank you for Not make, letting us stay. Thank, cheers. anything. Bye-bye. <laughs> So we made it to our geyser thing, and I know you can't see but look at the size. Oh wait, it's because I'm facing the wrong way. Look at the size of that vehicle. You might be like, that isn't even much. Guys, that's like a bus on steroids. <laughs> in it? In that bus on steroids? <laughs> Mate, I can't. Yeah, you could go stand next to it for scale. All right, Deck, let all the heat out. <laughs> Mate, oh my God. That's a school bus on, on roids. Holy crap. All right, so we're calling, not the campsite that we spoke to the woman at, but we're calling the parking space at the, what's this place called? That's so, Oh, that's where we are? Yeah. This place is sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good for like waking up in the morning too, that's all I'm going to say. So this is your two beds. Yeah. Beautiful. If we do get a knock on the door, we'll have to move. And what I'll do is I'll just take us down to that campsite down the road. Why so we, uh, we're not the door? there was no sign here that said no camping, but sometimes they're like, we don't want you parking here. No, it's like, free camping everywhere, imagine. Well, we're on a parking lot, aren't we? No, even than... private property, you can't. Well, we definitely saw a sign before that said no parking, no <laughs> camping. Said so. nature reserve, though, I think. Yeah. So, hey, listen, if, if we're absolutely fine, then we're absolutely fine. That's all I'm saying, guys. He ain't a boy. All right, question, where the hell's my bed in? I think it's one of these, it's all here. Oh, great, <laughs> Jeff's been rubbing his ball sack all over my bedding, nice. Man. First leg of the journey, I think we've done pretty good, lads. Ooh, I think we've done yeah. pretty goddamn good, well done. Jeff, I'm proud of you for actually staying awake for a whole 20 seconds more than you actually did. Yeah, okay. You were the best and worst co-pilot <laughs> I could have asked for, ever asked for. I was like, I was like, Jeff, what do you think of this? He just didn't reply. Yo, I, I was like, Jeff, what do you think of this? Yo, I haven't had a bed in three days. I don't care. And, and, he, and he didn't reply. And then, and then after about an hour, he woke up and went, what's that? What? what, what? I was like, and I went, what? And he went, what? And I went, what? And he panicked me so much whilst I was driving. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, what is going wrong? Oh, right. I've got to try and get my... Can someone help me get my bed down from there? <laughs> All right, where was this button again? Hey, thank God for daily vlogging. I found the switch. You ready? <laughs> Whoa, that is so sick. That is honestly the sickest thing ever. And it is my bed. <laughs> That's amazing. Look, if you keep it low, look at what, look at what a vibe that is. Oh, mate, that is nice. How cool is that? I love it. All right, it's, it's only midnight here, so one o'clock in the morning in the UK. Don't think I've got strong internet signal here. Where we out of everywhere we've been, it's probably the one place that I don't have a really strong one. And yes, the it's not gonna work. We're not in the main. We're not plugged into the campsite I mains. Just wanna see. Yeah, go for it. I don't know if there is a plug. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, have you noticed any? <laughs> I think we've just got to rely off everything being charged through the um, cigarette lighter, to be fair. Hey, come into my office. Let me make you another your guide reviews. Deck has how much percent battery? One. 1% 1 battery. One Good guy percent. Tom bought this for all of us for the journey. And I've been charging this whilst I've been driving. This is a 15,000 milliamp thing. This should charge f like probably four iPhones. You are, Jesus. Or three, actually. You need to borrow that. Thanks, sir. No worries. Thanks, Tom. That'd be 15 million kronos, please. <laughs> Get the beers out. Deck just went, I was like, have you got the bottle opener? And he was like, no. So he went to go like this, and I was like, you're not using the car keys. Don't be an idiot. And then... I got the power of the wild cat. <laughs> it was sick, he just did it. Mate, you are a manly oh. man. You have changed since I've last seen you. Hey, Jeff. Hey Jeff. Hey Jeff. Hey Jeff, you having a beer brew? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, camaraderie right there. Two. Yes. Stage one. Day one of our trip to Iceland. Oh yeah. Hey, all I'm gonna say is savor this because it cost a tenner a bottle. Mm. Not even joking. Everyone told me it's expensive in Iceland. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we got to the bar and I was like, yeah, three beers, and she was like, that'll be one thousand one hundred forty <laughs> each. 
Mother of X. It tastes good. It tastes good. Very, very good. I just said today, there's no point in us sitting inside. We might as well stand outside. And, whoa, is that the moon? I don't think you guys can see that. that oh, yeah, you can, kind of. Yeah, that dot is just the moon. Is it, oh, is it the moon? You, oh, whoa. Glare doesn't help, but look at that. Yeah, whoa. that's the Whoa, it looks crazy. What's that? That's the moon. Yeah, what's that over there? Whoa, it's a flying pigeon. <laughs> This is our this is our parking spot for tonight. I'm gonna make sure you guys locked it up. I'm like responsible dad Tom. Yep, yeah, we're okay. Ain't no one stealing nothing. Cheers, brother. Cheers, my man. Diddy diddy. And I don't know if you can hear that roaring noise, but that's the sound of the uh, the big waterfalls that we're gonna wake up to tomorrow. So uh, that should be pretty damn beautiful. Whoa! Oh, sorry, that's completely <laughs> shot. Really Dude, night mode looks sick. It's like green. It is green. Is that the northern lights? Aye. Imagine that's... if it was above us and we just couldn't see it. Because of the clouds. Somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere. Where are you? If, if this thing collapses, I'm absolutely screwed. <laughs> All right, good night, Deck. Good night, bro. Bye -bye, bro. Love you. I'm just gonna. Hey, I'm so glad we paid 150 quid for this building. <laughs> I'll just put my prison, my prison pillow there, <laughs> there. <laughs> and I'll just unfold my really big <laughs> prison bedding. Mate, it's got stains on it, bro. It's got stains on it. Oh no, it's the pattern. Okay, we're okay. Oh god. All right then. Well. Life's too short. <laughs> We're making the most of it. So guys, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll catch you in the morning. Where hopefully we have a good night's sleep and not get woken up by security or something. And until then, if you're excited for the rest of the journey, make sure you leave a like rating, subscribe, and adios. <laughs> oh, there's no way I'm getting to sleep with this wind.